hello buddies starting class after many many days due to some cause hope you all understand then let's get into the today's topic that is antacids which is the subtopic of gastrointestinal agents in this topic antacids we are going to know about ideal properties of antacids and combinations of antacids let us first know about what is antacid let us first get to know about definition of antacid antacids are the drugs which are used to neutralize the gastric contents antacids occurs due to excessive secretion of hcl in stomach let us recall it antacids are drugs which are used to neutralize the gastric contents antacids occur due to excessive secretion of hcl in stomach let us get to know what are the types of antacids there are two types of antacids that is first one is systemic antacid systemic antacids in short we can say that is it is observable antacid the antacid which is get in get observable easily let us get to know about this definition systemic antacids are soluble absorbable and capable to produce synthetic alterations or alkalosis example of systemic antacids is sodium bicarbonate remember the example of systemic antacid that is sodium bicarbonate you can easily remember it as systemic antacids are absorbable and capable to produce synthetic alterations or alkalosis let us know about second type of antacid that is non systemic antacids non systemic antacids are non absorbable that is these are not easily absorbed let us know about this definition that is these are not absorbable to a significant extent and thus do not extend the and thus do not extend the appreciable non systemic appreciable non systemic 
antacids let us recall it non systemic antacids are non absorbable these are not absorbable to a significant extent and this do not extend the appreciable non systemic antacids example magnesium salts aluminium salts calcium bicarbonate examples of non systemic acids are magnesium salts aluminium salts and calcium bicarbonate remember it there are some other types of antacids that are aluminium containing antacids aluminium containing antacids these are for the extra knowledge you don't need to write in the exam aluminium containing antacids example aluminium hydroxide aluminium phosphate di dihydroxy aluminium sodium hydroxide next one calcium containing antacids these are just the examples of antacids which are divided into calcium aluminum etc calcium containing antacids examples of calcium containing antacids are calcium carbonate try basic calcium phosphate try basic calcium phosphate next one magnesium containing antacids examples of magnesium containing antacids are magnesium hydroxide you can remember it easily this is an easy example magnesium oxide let us turn the page it is of antacids the first property of ideal property of antacids is it should be insoluble in h2o and has fine particle form it should be insoluble in h2o that is water and has fine particle form second property it should not be absorbable it should not be absorbable and cause 
systemic alkalosis we all discussed about this systemic alkalosis means the observable it should be exert its effect it should be exert its effect gradually and over a long period of time it should be stable and does not produce any side effect it should be stable and does not produce any side effects it should be readily available next one it should cause laxative and constipatic effect it should cause laxatic or constipatic effect you can see the laxative and constipatic effects definition in my another video the reaction between antacid and hcl the reaction between antacid and hcl should not produce large volume of gas this is the fine property of antacid that is the reaction between antacid and hcl should not produce large volume of gas it should buffer in ph range of it should buffer in ph range of 4 to 6 the ph range of buffering should be of 4 to 6 only should not exceed that's all for today's class let's uh, discuss about these um, compounds in next class the compounds that will be discussed in this topic are related to the antacids that are sodium bicarbonate aluminum hydroxide and magnesium hydroxide mixture can you wait uh, some more time for this compound